Hey guys, uh, it's Monday. It has been such a crazy day already. I mean, I can't believe it's almost three o'clock. I'm so late doing my live today, so I'm sorry for being late. But I did other videos for my website and I had a call this morning and there's so much going on. But I wanna talk about world record egg because I, all day yesterday, was obsessed with world record egg. Wyatt and I kept, uh, refreshing our Instagram feeds to see how many likes the egg got. And so if you're not familiar with world record egg, let me familiarize you. Kylie Jenner apparently had 18 million people like a photograph that she posted on Instagram at some point during last year. <clears throat> and that holds the world record of number of likes <coughs> on an Instagram post. So these people, this guy, I don't even know, I didn't really do any research on him or who started the egg idea, decided that he was going to post a picture of an egg on Instagram and he was going to see how fast he could beat that record. And I think he did it in 24 hours, but I'm not quite sure. I have to look at that statistic up too. I should have been a little bit more prepared with my statistics on this, but I'm could not stop thinking about it last night and it gave me an idea for something I'm doing. So the egg, during the course of the day yesterday, I, Wyatt and I watched the numbers rise like crazy. And I posted on my Instagram and I just could not believe the power that marketing and social media have. And so <clears throat> last night I went to bed and I started thinking about the egg and the whole thing. And I said to myself, how does this actually work? Like I'm, I've been doing, I've, you know, had my own business for about three years now and I'm always struggling with the marketing ideas and trying to get visible and build the trust level and do all the things. And for me, it comes down to credibility. And here's why. I decided to do an experiment on my social media. And so you're going to see me posting once a day about somebody that I admire in the business world, in my personal life, whatever it is. And I want to highlight their area of expertise and why they are considered experts at what they do. And then I wanna talk about mine. So today, I highlighted a gentleman by the name of Matthew Hussey, who is a dating expert. He is a millennial, he's I think in his early 30s, and he carved out a niche for himself in the coaching and uh, business world to where he helps women find the loves of their lives uh, through dating. And he gives them tips and tools and all the things, right? <clears throat> and so millions of people have listened to him speak. He's got several hundred thousand followers on Instagram and Facebook and all the things. And I'm, I, I kept saying to myself last night, what makes him so valuable, so trusted? And it's his credibility. And so I looked up his, his resume, if you will, right? What, what makes him credible? So he has a book. I have a book. He has been, uh, you know, featured in media outlets. I've been featured in media outlets. He has client testimonials on his website. I've got client testimonials on my website. And so I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I am going to partner and create an idea and see if I can talk about credibility on a, on a bigger scale. So today my Instagram post is a picture of Matthew Hussey and a picture of me below it. And my caption under him is, the coach you go to when you want to get the guy. And then the caption under mine is, the coach you go to when you want to keep the guy. Because we all have our areas of expertise. 
I have been studying relationships for a really long time, not just for the three years that I've been doing this job that I love so much, my life coaching business. Um, I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a friend. I'm a sister. I'm a daughter. I'm a, a coworker. Uh, and so the relationships that I have are very, very important to me. And that's why I chose to be a transformational life coach focusing on relationships because the single most important relationship you're going to have is the one that you have with yourself. But beyond that, you should have a solid, successful, loving, thriving, sustainable relationships with everybody in your life. And so that's what I have committed to becoming credible in. And so I have collaborated with, I'm a part of the Today Show parenting team and I write for them. Uh, I am on the Thrive Collaborator list. I am a Forbes Coaches Council member, so I, I've been featured in and written for Forbes. Uh, I have a lot of clients who have written testimonials for me, who would do video testimonials, who will go to bat for me. I wrote the book on relationships. And so in order to increase my visibility in the credibility world and wanting to, I want to do more speaking on stage this year. So I want to get more speaking gigs. I am going to define other people's success next to mine. I'm going to not compare them because they're very different, right? Um, and I also think that we fall into the credibility idea with our products. Um, I am a Samsung girl. I am not an Apple girl. I don't love the Apple products. Uh, I like the way they work. I like how I, they're user friendly. I like all that stuff. I chose my car based on the safety standards and um, you know how big it was and what it could transport and all the things, right? So we look to experts in industries to help us gain or understand a trust level through credibility. I am launching a course in February called Desired and Appreciated. And it's all about the relationship that you have with your partner. We're going to focus on that first because we're, and we're also going to focus on ourselves. But my area of expertise is exactly this. And my credibility lends to my area of expertise in being able to have a conversation with you about why your relationship is so important, how we can fix it if you're feeling undesirable or invisible or unappreciated, and all the things that happen when you are in a long-term relationship. I don't really work with people who have been in relationships for about seven minutes. I work with people who have been in it, who have been in the trenches, who have gone through parenting, who have gone through crises, who, crises, who have made a commitment to working together to form a bond and to have a life together. But sometimes that road gets muddy. And sometimes, a lot of times, it gets really bumpy. And so trying to figure out how to get through that and navigate through that and maneuver through that is not always an easy thing. And a lot of times, we take it upon ourselves and we blame ourselves for, you know, the issues that arise in those relationships. For the bumpy road, for the lack of communication, for allowing ourselves to become complacent with the relationship that we have instead of working on it, instead of making it a priority. And that's what this program is. So this week we're going to talk about desire. And on Thursday night, in book club, we're gonna talk about desire and where it falls on the intimacy spectrum in the five essentials in the book, the relationship, the book that I wrote. Because I think it's important to pull out specific areas where we typically fall off first. And intimacy is definitely one of those places. It's very easy to just push it to the side and say, I'll get to that later, because there are so many other important things to deal with. And then you're a few weeks or a few months or God forbid, a few years down the road, and you haven't actually touched the person that you live with. 
and that can be very damaging to your relationship. And so I want to talk about desire and where it falls into the trust level that you have with your partner. And I want to talk about the credibility that it brings to your relationship as you continue to grow together and make your commitment move forward. So that's what we're doing. So this week, I know I started talking with the egg. So if you're watching the replay, this is crazy. But humans have such a, a huge power when it comes to choosing who we trust and who we work with and who we bring into our inner circle. And so I appreciate that you watch this and you trust me and you you want to know more from me and all those things. So thank you for being here. And check out my Instagram feed or my, I'm going to actually post it on, on the Facebook page. I'm going to do that too. My experiment about credibility and how um, we're going to see if this actually works. If the credibility comparisons that I'm doing with the people that I am influenced by every day who I think are great, who are doing great things in the world, who are making things happen, who are changing the way that I would like, why am I yelling to be in a few years? Starting now, right? Like I've been working at this for three years. It's time that my credibility actually did me a service and started bringing me to the next level in my business. That's what this is about. And I want that to happen for us in our relationships. And so join me for book club on Thursday night and go to whyamiyelling.com. I've got a couple new videos up there that you can watch. There's one on the homepage and there's one on the um, desired and appreciated page. And you'll learn more about the program and you can uh, schedule a call with me. But if you want any time, any of my time, I'm always happy to give it to you. Send me a direct message. Send me a private message. Send me an email book a call. I'm super easy to get in touch with because this is really important stuff. And if you are feeling like you are struggling in your relationship, I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to know that we can work on that together because I've been there. I have been through all of it and I've managed through hard work with my partner to come out of it breathing and alive. And we continue to do that work every day. So that's my message today. Where is your trust level? And how does that correspond to the credibility that you have in your relationship? Love you guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow.